As many of you will be acutely aware, Team Sky of late have come under some intense media scrutiny, making for a particularly challenging time for the team, where their ethics have been called into question and also trust in the team severely tested. Now, as part of the team's kind of desire to become more transparent, we've been invited here to the Manchester Institute of Health and Performance for Team Sky's first get together ahead of the 2017 season. Now we've been given unrestricted access to the day's events, which means no closed doors. And the atmosphere is far lighter than you might think. As well as unrestricted access to the day's activities, I'm going to be subject to the raft of medical testing that the riders undergo. Which is good, as I'm due a bit of a checkup. Two, one, turn and smolder. Lovely, look at that. You seen this? Sergio A now doing this frontal testing, so the wind tunnel without wind or a tunnel. But I've never seen the, uh, the cast helmet bib shorts combo rocked so well in my life. He's nailed it. Firstly, we speak to Team Sky's Head of Performance, Rod Ellingworth, to ask exactly why we were invited along. So Rod, you've, or the team, have been kind enough to sort of open the doors. Why have you given us this sort of access? Well, I think, you know, it's a great opportunity to show, uh, you know, our fans and the people who support us exactly what, what we're doing at this time of the year. Obviously, you know, with recent things going off here in the UK, it's been, you know, for some people, it's been quite a difficult issue, but, you know, for the rest of us and, and the performance side of this team and the bike riders, you know, we've got goals and ambitions and we're, sure. we're just going forward. You know, this is what this is all about, really. And so opening the doors, letting people see what we do. I think for the riders, this is an, a fairly chilled out opportunity, which you'd never really get the opportunity to see them in this situation. Sure. You know, we're very on camp, yet it's a very chilled out camp, you know. Yeah. And we have our end of season awards dinner on Wednesday night where the guys will enjoy themselves as well, you know. Now, Rod, in the light of the current events that you've already alluded to, mm. it is so, so important, isn't it, that Team Sky are a team that people can trust? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You know, and I think from the very outset, that was all, that's always been our ambition, you know, and, and is to have a, uh, a clean bike racing team out there uh, representing very much uh, the UK. Uh, yep. And, you know, and we, we hold our brand with Sky in particular at heart, you know, and... Um, uh, you know, this is the idea here is opening the doors to you guys to sort of show that, you know, this, we are just normal people yeah. trying to get out there and do our job. And, and we've got a, a bunch of very talented bike riders and they're all normal young guys, but have a talent and, and they've got dreams and ambitions. And, you know, our, our job is to support that. Yeah. And we want to show the world that's what we do. And that's exactly, we do it in a correct way, you know. I'm here weirdly on some AstroTurf with Russ. Now Russ, you're doing some uh, initial photography for the team, right? Exactly yes. what sort of stuff am I going to be doing today? Okay, so what we're doing, what we're, well, what the riders are doing and what you're going to be doing is just taking some pictures and some portraits just in the new kit for 2017, basically. Okay. So we're going to do some full body portraits, some head and shoulders portraits, and then maybe just have a little bit of a laugh. Um, get a few doing a few little silly poses and things, really. I mean, your hair is on point. How's mine? It's looking good, it's looking good, yeah. Let's do this. Well, next up, it's time for the green screen. Jamie, what lies in store? I am intrigued, nice to meet you. So, what we're doing today is we're getting all the riders in and uh, we're filming for uh, next year's season. Okay. And it's, uh, it's basically just like the football walk-ins. So, um, we get the guys, we've got a few different moves, which uh, we'll run through, run through shortly. Bit, a bit, of, a bit of, of chin stroking, perhaps? A little bit of chin stroking, a little bit of pointing, checking the watch. Let's give it a go. Two, one. Following a spot of modelling, I then spoke to Dr. Richard Usher to ask what type of screening the riders undertake at this time of year. We've got the UCI statutory screening, which we all have to do as a team, which is quite minimalistic. There's some basic cardiac screening, um, some blood tests, vision, urine dipstick, but Sky and, and ourselves have decided to go way beyond that. Um, to be much more holistic in, in what we screen for. I imagine it's quite an additional challenge and a more of an investment with new riders coming in who you have no kind of medical history in, in relation to. It's a real challenge yeah. that. A lot of them come in with no notes, right. no scans. Um, and we've actually seen some of the new riders pre-contractually a few weeks ago where we actually did some of the basic information gathering, okay. scans and things like that. I mean, that's quite interesting uh, you mentioned pre-contract that they almost, you, I guess you, you have to be happy. Yeah, when I first started with the team, interestingly enough, we, the riders were signed and then we got to see them, um, which didn't make 
from us medically much sense. Sure. Um, and based on sort of work we've done with football and rugby, uh, where they do have pre-signing medicals, yeah. we, we've changed that over the last four years now. Um, and the team have been really happy to facilitate that. So we bring them into Manchester, uh, we get the pre-screening medicals done on them, um, and then the contracts can be signed from then. Next up, a look at some very cool tech. Right, I'm here with Simon Jones. Now, Si, I'm sat on a bike that's admittedly slightly too small for me. In front of a green screen, you look like you've got something from Star Trek in your hand. What is going on? Yeah, gonna zap you with this. So, um, this is a scanner, okay? okay. Um, and we're gonna scan you. It's gonna create a 3D image, okay? okay. So, uh, it's, it's, a, it, it's a quick and easy way of catching your dimensions and then we can use that you know, for a whole bunch of different reasons. Um, so we've done it in the past to like scan handlebar positions and make like the 3D printed bars. Yeah, okay. Um, and then we've, we, we've done this in the past with um, other riders as well to make a mannequin, a model, a full side model for the, for the so wind tunnel. You, so you can then, because that's come, I mean, wind tunnel testing is pretty time intensive, isn't it? So yeah. you can use the mannequin in the wind tunnel, right. all the different permutations. Do lots of repeats, mannequins don't. Rider complain. doesn't need to be there. Yeah. No, actually pretty good to work with mannequins. I'm not sure we can scan your hair, actually. This is like new for the scanner. Yeah, I think you might need some more, uh, some more terabytes of memory for my hair, mate. Yeah. I was then put through my paces with team physiotherapist, Nathan Thomas. He assesses every rider to establish if there are any areas of concern, then we'll formulate a program of therapy in conjunction with the rider's coach. I then face the chair of team dentist, David Mellier. Another area that could impact on a rider's health and performance if not got right. Well. Bit of a neglected mouth here, I'm afraid. I think we need a bit of oral hygiene uh, discussion, I think. Uh, well, I'm now here with Neil Martin in the physiology unit, and we're going to be looking at, basically, my respiratory system. So what are you going to, going to have me do, and what is the reason for it? So we'll do a number of tests this morning. The first one we're going to do is a thing called exhaled nitric oxide. So that's a little gas from your lungs, and the idea is we're looking at measuring inflammation deep within your lungs, okay. but doing it from a gas that you breathe out into the machine. What exactly are you trying to find here? How is this going to benefit me? We measure inflammation, we measure um, your, your lung function, we measure how twitchy your airways are, and then we can make sure that we're going to put you onto an appropriate level of treatment or management for your, your symptoms. Okay. So 99 is actually quite high for your um, pheno test. So that okay. suggests there may be an issue there. <clears throat> um, so what we should do is move on and do your uh, spirometry testing and see where we go from there. Okay. And then keep going, 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 keep going. You got all that. And your lung function actually is very good as we expected. So, so far, how am I looking? So, so far your nitric oxide's a little high. So we are going to have to have a look at that. Uh, and we might need to do some further testing, but uh, obviously with time limitations today, we might not get a chance to do that. I'm here with Walt Paul. Thanks for speaking to us, Walt. But I'm interested in asking you, what is the most, for you, the most important part of this first get together ahead of 2017? Because, you know, we've, we've only just finished 2016 yeah, after yeah. all, but what's important about this camp for you? I think for me, it's really nice to see the new kit. I really look always forward to see your new clothing, where you're going to train, where you're going to race in. Okay. So uh, yeah, that was nice to see. And yeah, you know, the medicals are always important to do, check if everybody, uh, everything is okay. Okay. So yeah, it's a little bit the thing you have to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's also fun to see the new riders, have a little drink and uh, make a little bit of a good time of it. Well, while I'm here, I thought I might have a kickabout with the boys. We've got Kwiatkowski in goal, we've got Viviani clearly in midfield, forward slash centre forward. I've got my pumps on, I'm going in. <laughs> in short, I won't be signing for Team Sky's newly formed football team. Next up is a bit of tech that I've not seen before. It's difficult to explain, but essentially, it's a wind tunnel without wind or a tunnel. Simon, just explain what exactly is happening here, because it's a pretty cool bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, it's a camera system here which measures the frontal area, um, and it does that by subtracting Matt's silhouette away from the green background, and you can see that sort of checkerboard background here. Um, and it's basically subtracting one from the other to give us a frontal area. The beauty of this, it's a real coaching tool. So if I actually start to, we'll start to record, and this is Matt's, so this is your best position here. So if you start to play around now, 
then you can you get an instant feedback on your on your frontal area position or your arrow. So it becomes in, more, increasingly more efficient, inefficient. Yes, yeah, so you want this number as low as possible. That's actually not that safe to ride like that, but it's quite aerodynamic. No. <laughs> I'm here with Dan Gilmet. Got the retail system here. Yep. I'm fully kitted up. <laughs> now I know this particular procedure is obviously all riders will go through, but it's primarily of primary importance, sorry, for new riders on the team, isn't it? Yeah, so you've, you've seen us working, how we work with some of our riders when we're in Mallorca in the training camps um, and also on the track. Ideally, what we try and do here is we're just trying to capture and, and replicate their bike position from their old bike because some guys okay. come from Specialized, the Pinarello, there's a lot of geometry differences. Of um, and they're just about to restart training now. So whilst the training load is very low at the moment, it gives them a perfect opportunity to, to adjust to the new bike. Could be new pedal, pedal interface. But we use this system, which is a 3D, 3D analysis camera um, to pick up all the joint markers and see actually how the athlete's interacting on the bike. All I want to just do for me now is just uh, start pedaling, just nice and easy. And so ideally that what you see here under the range is what's considered normal, normal they're called the normal values. It's, it's, there's so much detail there, it's incredible. So you really can fine tune a rider's position, can't you? Get it to, on a really nuanced level. These numbers here, your hip angle and back angle, really how aero you're getting. And, you're pretty good there, to be honest, because you're kind of sitting mid-range, but most of our guys sit 42, 43, and you're 44, so for an old fella, you're doing pretty well. Well, Dan, it's, uh, that's been yeah, quite enlightening, actually. I've never seen my, myself deconstructed in such a way, so thanks very much indeed. Yeah. Cheers. And finally, cardio testing, a UCI requirement, and arguably the most important test of all to check for any underlying heart conditions. So, under steadily increasing load, my heart trace is analysed to check for any abnormalities and a rider won't be granted a licence to race without first getting the all clear. And thankfully, I passed with flying colours. Well, there you go, I'm absolutely exhausted, but that was extremely interesting. A real detailed look at what it takes in relation to preparing a team ahead of the 2017 season. Now, for some more Team Sky content, how about clicking just up here when we visited Team Sky at their Mallorca training camp earlier in the year. And click just down here for our aero testing with Geraint Thomas. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the globe. And don't forget to like and share this video too.